I actually do have my brother's uh, phone number, and an entire country hates him. Okay. Uh, but he may be trading stocks. I think you have to dial a one, Danny. Zero one one. Oh. I just spoke to him yesterday. Can you dial a one zero? No. Hmm. Yeah, you did. But I don't know nothing. Okay, this should be him. If it's busy, he's trading stocks and making a fortune. Okay. If not, a whole country hates him, and we can ask him why. But he's very shy. He's like really shy. Not he's on. He's trading. He's shy. Super shy. Like painfully shy. Try it with a one just for fun. It won't do it really. That's that's zero one one is the international code. It's five two is the. I country know that. Code. I know, but you have to call long distance. So isn't that one before the the mm. the international? Zero one one is the international. I promise you. No, I know it's the code, but I thought you had to put a one in front of it. Are you sure? Positive. Thank you. Absolutely positive. I believe. Zero one one. I know, but isn't there a one before that? So zero one one international, and then and then the one. So that's three ones. Yeah. One of the ones is the one. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is fun. phone Okay, number. he would know. Yeah. I talked to him yesterday about my dog. All right, fine. What did he say? Are you out of your mind? Danny bought a very expensive dog. Uh, he's out of town, so I shouldn't give him a plug, but what the hell. From Howard Rodriguez. At Why are you California doing that? Canine I know Academy. how much you paid for that. Because he's a great guy is and does the best. He's the best in the business. He trained my dog. Yeah, and your dog hates you and hates no, the baby. No, my dog is a well-behaved machine. See, this dog's a machine. Yeah. This dog's a machine. How's your dog, Jack? He's never seen my dog, and I thought he was kind of weird. <laughs> I met the guy. Oh, tell him here. I'm kind of weird. As... No. <laughs> He's a super freak. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you like to hear the eight things that men want besides sex? There aren't eight things. Look at you guys. You guys are like, like, it's like no, no. <laughs> All right, fine. Then we'll just take a phone call. <laughs> yeah. I see the enthusiasm. In I'm the gonna room. call my brother and find out why. For them, it's for women. I know, but did you see? They were just like, no. They're well, it's guys. all crap. Well, I don't know. I haven't heard it. All right, give me one. Let's Hi, hear Melanie. One. <laughs> is that me? Yeah. Well, is your name Melanie? Yes. Well, then she I doesn't get brighter, man. I, I, I guess that would be. I mean, I you guess know. that's me. Yeah. All right. Jamie. Yeah. Why do you think that if Monica's parents don't speak English? That they probably speak French. Now, who, oh who wants to start? Oh, my gosh. This is niche good. You're going to go with yeah, that direction? Rather than I'm coming to your house and killing you? Yeah, I know. Okay. Wow. She said in French. She just didn't know it. No. Oh, my God. You you're spoke, kidding. All right, I'll go with you on this okay. angle. You mean that we called her and Jamie. Oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. Who, I can't believe that you can walk around under your own power. Oh. You're so stupid. Oh, my God. I'm you so You swear to God she spoke French. Yeah, she said, Como se va right before you said, Como se va. No, I did no not. No way. Play it back, Jack. Play is that back. is sense of humor on your list? Because <laughs> this I'm girl I... doesn't quote. Wow. Now, wait, wait a second. You're not Jack, going the Jamie not... and Danny way. <laughs> you have to be shocked that Miss White was so Are incredibly you sure? lame. No, actually, I thought it was kind of cool because she's all like multicultural and stuff. Wait, are you sure I did that? Mm, no, I think I must have been drinking with when I was watching a Laker game. Yeah, Jack, do you? I don't think I did. I'll check the tape. Yeah, but there's no way. <laughs> okay, fine. But anyways, uh, te amo means I love you. So he said I love you, fish. Te amo pescado. I I I don't think I said. You know, French. I was gonna say, should we speak every language we possibly know That's enough words in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honto, well, you can totally get Jamie. That way, es- can't you? I don't know how you say French in uh, in Japanese. <laughs> Hanashimasu ka? Honto desu ne? That's did she really in Japanese? Ich bin Muda. Ah, Hanashimasu. Oh, okay. uh, oui. Como ça va? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> okay, anyways, just, I just probably think you guys will before. I can say I'm tired in two, three languages. Kono jo wa baka aho. Ich bin glücklich. Hakusho desu ne? There. We are, that's how, that's, what have we spoke? Like five languages? I think we called people stupid in as many languages as we possibly know. I know for sure that there are no Germans on the FCC. Oh, my God. What? Another call to tell you you actually spoke French. Shh. All right. Now, we're going to fool them like we didn't know. How can they be this lame? Tim? Yeah. Hi. Timmy? We, yeah? You did speak French. No, no I did not. Baloney. You did. I swear to God, I did. There's no you way. Did. You said, Como se va? No, right. I did not. Right. Tim, I listened to the playback. Yeah, I, play it back. I did. I, I played say, it back. It's not. But, it's Spanish. It was all Spanish. It was all Spanish. Uh, yeah. Because let's play the tape back. Uh, uh, let me let me see there, Dan. Uh, okay, let's just start. Ring, ring, ring. Bueno, Monica, Como esta? Donde es las Monica? Oh, hi. Ça va bien, messieurs vous? See, she's speaking Spanish. <laughs> Tim. Yeah. 
Are you sure? I'm positive. Did you hear the playback of the tape? I didn't hear the playback, no. No. I don't think I did, Tim. I think you're lying to me. Sorry, Jamie. Tim, I would never call a, a Spanglish home and speak French. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I think you're stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah, you're stupid. Actually, I got to go with Jamie on this one. You're stupid. All right. Stupid. Happy Friday, you guys. Well, happy Friday. Don't be hurt that we don't think you're bright. Stupid, hey, Tim. Simple. It's just yeah, he has no sense of irony. This is what it is, I Tim, guess. you're stupid. Thanks, Jamie. Stupid. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye, stupid. Bye. By the way, if you play this tape back, she's saying, I love you. You're the smartest <laughs> caller ever in, in Swazi. Did you hear that? They, they think I said something in French. Because you're Frenchy. Oh, that did not go. Yes, yeah. you are. No, you're missing the whole point. Yeah, you're stupid. She did. Jack almost played along, but it had to be pulled into our web, but you're just so far away, you can't even get back. Yeah, forget it. You're supposed it. to be nice to people. I remember that meeting. <laughs> I, See? You're all over the map. Yeah, you just, never mind. Don't come in here. Yeah. Didn't you get a memo about not coming in here? Yes. Yeah. I remember that memo for sure. I remembered that while he was giving the whole I hate the dance speech. <laughs> Isn't there a memo not even to talk, let alone to crush the, the, half the show? Yeah. I don't remember that memo. <laughs> what? I just realized if I did everything I got a memo for, I would have to talk with the mic off while screaming in the hallway. <laughs> I know, Jack. I'd have to do bad things to Robert Lyles. <laughs> oh, I like that memo. I'd have to stay home. And that's Derek Fisher's uh, gay brother, I was told. Who? Uh, Robert Lyles. What? That's what Stench told me. And that's not a lie. But I said it in French. <laughs> Is your name so keel? Shaquille. Oh, it, it's Sha- Soquel. Hi, Soquel. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I love you guys. It's great. We love you. We do love you. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> what can we do for you this fine morning? Well, I know this is kind of old news now, but um, I, you guys are talking about how the country code, 011, mm-hmm. and I call England every day. Mm-hmm. Well, not every day, but my family lives there, and it's actually 011 plus... Just the country code. The country There's no code. one after that. Right. Mm-hmm. Mine is 0152 is the country code. So this was Well, the country code is normally just two numbers. Right. Like England is 44. Yours is 52. 52. So 011 is just a way to get out of the country, I guess. Right. Yeah, pretty ah, much. Ah, look at you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, it's Sokeel, Shokeel. What's your name? Sokeel. Sokeel. What, what are you? What's Where's the name Sokeel? I mean. Um, it's, that, it's French Indian. And uh, I'm not French Indian. It's just, it's just a name. <laughs> so, Kel, what does it mean? It means born by the river. Born. Two. Oh, and. You can't get a hold of your sister. I can't get a hold of my brother. <sighs> Our families have abandoned us. I know, but it's Friday. I'm excited. You are. I love Fridays. Big plans in the White household. What do you got? I got the Dodger game tonight with a lot of Dodger dogs. That's right, everybody. And I'm going to be rolling out the relish out of that little machine out to my Dodger dog. And then I'm going sea do it on Saturday. Nice. All day long, going to sea do with the peeps. Yes. Then Sunday. With your hover friend? Huh? With yes, your hover my hover friend. And then Sunday, uh, Sunday, big, big plans. Uh, Jack, what are my big plans on Sunday? Uh, I don't know. A uh, whole lot of nothing. <laughs> I, I'm either going to Vegas today via motorcycle. This is weird. It's, this is sad. Like, saying you have no friends is, is one thing. But, but it's not like that. When you have a free hotel room and ringside seats to the, possibly the greatest fighter who ever fault. lived and you can't get anyone to go. It's not your fault. Really? Let me tell you why. First of all, most people have their plans already smack dab in the middle. Right. I mean, it's Friday. that You haven't figured out what you're doing for the weekend. Right. I asked Chris Dewan. His wife's out of town, so he's got to watch the kids. Right. And not only that, to pick up and go to Vegas, unless you're like somebody like myself, a lot of people have family and obligations right. and all that, and you're in that age bracket of those people. Right. You know, in your 40s, you, you got it all figured out. You have a plan. You have your kids. You, have, you can't just pick up and go. It's like I was telling my new friend, Natalie, because she says every summer she gets an itch, like, right around this area where she wants to have a baby. Right. And I said, you, you know what's funny? All you have to do to take care of that is go, hey, want to go to Vegas? 
That's a great idea. Yeah, you know, and I'm like, that's what I told her. I go, anytime you get the itch for having a baby, she goes, I don't know, it comes around every summer. I just want to have a baby. I'm like, just go, hey, want to go to Vegas? And the fact that we can pick up and go on Southwest and go to Vegas will make you not want to have a baby this summer. Very nice. Yeah, so it's not your fault. You're in that, like... You're in that uh, 40 Yeah, because I did ask some people that would like to go. Like, I asked Mario, who would love to go. Right. And uh, he can't go. Oh, he's having the little issue. I asked uh, <laughs> Stench, and I don't know why he can't go. He may just hate me. Why can't you go, Jack? Baby. Right. Wife. I, yeah, I have, like, a life I have to take care of. <laughs> but I have a life, and I'm getting a weekend yeah, pass to go see I, my you guys Jonah have Jr. a nanny. Yeah, and I actually have to take care of my kid and change diapers and stuff. Where, yeah. You know, you don't. that's not your department. It's not my department. Although, three nights in a row, I've been solely responsible for the kids. Well, that's, that's crazy out of nine years. Yeah, I was going to say 14, but you're right. My oldest kid's nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm responsible for her a lot now because she's nine and doesn't need anything. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm on the computer. I think she thinks that's my name. <laughs> Vets have warned people to cut down on the amount of food they give to their rabbits because they're getting too fat. I told you I had a rabbit story. There Woo! you go. That's exciting. That is exciting. They say rabbit owners are feeding their bunnies too much processed pet food. The pets pick out the fattening best bits and they leave the good stuff. (laughs) That's funny. Uh, Now there's an epidemic of fat ass bunnies. They're they're not fat, but I got a bunch of bunnies near my house in Griffith Park. I mean, they're everywhere. Oh, this is funny, Danny. Listen. There is an epidemic of obese bunnies suffering from overgrown teeth and gut problems. (laughs) <laughs> That's not funny. That's sad, Jamie. You don't know sadness. Did you know that there's a Society for the Prevention of Cruelty for Animals? Of course. Well, they're worried about this. This is their plight. Fat bunnies. The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is the normal PETA. Pet rabbits. Yeah, oh, pet, yeah. Pet yeah. rabbits often get far too much food and not enough exercise. Are you kidding me? This is your plight now? I can't you know, it. Gretchen wanted to get Isabella a bunny, and I said that's not fair because with all the coyotes, we'll have to keep it caged all the time, and that's not fair to a bunny. No, it's not, it's Danny. Not. That's not fair to a bunny. Living in your house as a dog or a cat, that's fair. That is fair. Unless you're you're Sid and, until he got to be trained and he used to winky on me. I hate Yummy. That. Or yay. I wonder if my big dog will eat him. Everybody wants to go to the fight, and I really just can't deal with it. I know. I don't want to do that. Should I just do something about this? Well, I don't know, because I thought that you were going to go to the fight with other people. And let's well, just, we'll wait till the back. 9 o'clock hour. Okay. All right. Hey, can you get rid of a, I want to go to the fight yeah. uh, with Danny? I appreciate that. You're very sweet that, that you'll keep me from being lonely at the fight, but we'll talk to you after 9. Yeah, because it's taking up all our phone lines. Right. And, and we have bunny talk. Yeah, duh. Bunny talk, yes or no. Go ahead. Madden. Madden? Maiden? Nadine. 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 Bunny talk, you're on the air. Go ahead. How are you, Jamie? How are you, Danny? We're good, thank you. Good. I just wanted to say hello. I just started listening to your radio station. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And I wanted to invite you to my son's um, party. I'm having him a party in June. Um, He's going to be 18 and graduating from high school. Um. So I'm very proud of him and um, I'd like to invite you guys. So where do you live? (laughs) And Fullerton. Oh, Fullerton, sorry. home of the fighting Fullers. <laughs> so if you guys, you guys Jack, you want to go now, to the... Now, can I ask you something? Sure. So you're calling us and seriously inviting us to, to your son's birthday party, right? Of course. Which I really appreciate and think is wonderful. But, uh, you know, J- you heard Jamie's plans, and I- I've got these tickets to invite. Some really interesting things do come up in our lives. I was just wondering what events will be taking place at your 18-year-old's birthday that would compel Jamie and I, aside from just the fact that you listen Hookers. to us, what's going to be oh, happening no, no. at this party? No, just partying and, and eating and having a good time. Well, uh, Jack never misses a meal. Jack, you want to go? Actually, Stench is the one that doesn't <laughs> miss it. You know, a little kid's birthday party, I see it's kind of cute. Right. The 18-year-old's birthday party, I just don't quite get Too it. Too young to drink. Right. right. <laughs> and, and they think that we're, you know, they don't like yeah, our age. I'm right. just we're some old. old guy. Yeah, we're old Uh-oh. people there. You yeah, guys Kate, aren't old. You're my age. I know, but 18 year olds don't like our age. Right, and that's you're the true. mom. And you're the mom bringing her that's uncool mom friends over. We'll be yeah. the uncool yeah. mom we'll friends. We'll dance and embarrass them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Probably. But I, I wanted to invite you guys anyway. Well, you're very that's, sweet, and thank you. That's sweet, but you understand that we'll be the old mom friends that are uncool. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, for who? Is, whose party is it anyway? Yeah. I know, but I'm throwing it. I'm throwing the party. I'm sorry. I have plans to dress up in bright yellow leather and try and recapture my youth. <laughs> hey, 
hey, why don't you dress in your partridge outfit? Oh, there you go, Danny. Yeah, they can hire you. Not that far back. I'm not going to that far youth. I was going to the mid-20s, not the mid-10s. Come on, Danny. Be the old Danny Okay, Partridge. you know what? I could not wait to drive out to Fullerton in my red velvet suit. Thank you. Thank you. No All problem. Right, God bless you. Besides that, apparently if I dress like that, there are several people on the Who Wants to Kill a Partridge website that will kill me. Oh, yeah. Almost 80,000 of them. You're leading. 80,000 people want me dead. You even beat the bus. That's outrageous. That makes me me. laugh. More people want you dead than to kill the bus. Here's Drew. Hello, Drew. Hey, guys. How are you? Hi, Drew. We are lovely and talented. Is this where I give the obligatory you rule? Yes. You rule. You don't ask, dumbass. Who's a dumbass, me? Yeah, you just do it. You don't ask. Oh, well, I don't know. Look, I just moved here. I'm from Orlando. You Uh, You know, I got six little buttons on the dial on my radio. You're programmed on every single one of them, so I'm not a dumbass. Be nice. All right already, my God. Jesus. I'm calling because you guys... <laughs> no, are weeping about Jesus. You're weeping about Jesus. The, the, the French and the Spanish, and I work in Epcot, so, I mean, I can pretty much tell you... You know, you learn the bad words first. You can probably tell us where the bathroom is in, like, 100 languages. In like, No, not where the bathroom is, but probably what people are doing in it in about seven languages. I mean... If you want to know, let's say, Finger how to ask someone to have sex in Norwegian, I can tell you. Wow, that's cool. Well, how do you, you do it? Know, I mean, sure. Got, what? Yeah, tell us. Okay, so in the nice, there's two different ways. Nice ways? Nice ways. Just only do it nicely. Vil du elska. Vil du elska. Vil du elska, Jacka. That's, that's, that's nice. That's the nice way. Right, well, don't right, do the other Always way. stay the nice way. Yeah, don't do that. Hey, Drew. Nice way. Drew. Now, do, you, do you want to hear the other way? No, we no. just keep saying no. We can't do bad, <laughs> nasty things on this show anymore. Hey, Drew. Uh, yeah. You know that at the Epcot Center when I was about 17 years old, they have that little, like, uh, one section where you can buy, like, wines and stuff yes. from different parts of the world? I went in there. I was a nervous wreck. I bought four bottles of wine, and they sold them to me. And at I 17? Did, yeah, at 17 because they were presents for my parents, and right. then I realized, dude, they sold me wine. Yeah, well, we used to go, the big thing is to go drinking around the world. You didn't do that? That's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> you go, I mean, and I don't know if most people can make it, but, I mean, you just have a beer at every single place, and, you know, you got to have the sake, the hot sake, the cold sake, the pints, and, oh, my God, by oh the end of Oh, my God. Time, I am I so going to relapse to try that. I'm <laughs> going to Orlando, did? what, next month. Yeah? Are I, you really? Yes. I'm, I think I got to try it. Well, I'm, I'm actually I'm going back next month, and I, dude, I'm, I'll have a relapse. Crazy. I haven't drank in like five years. So if I'm there that weekend, I'll actually take you there. Dude, I'm going to relapse with Drew at Epcot. All right. I, I'll, tell you what, <laughs> I'll give you the number, and if you're there, I, I can get you in. I still have tickets. I still have uh, you know connections. He knows people. Nice. Yeah, all right. Hold actually, on. knowing people would help because I'm taking my family for the first time. Okay, break. well, perfect. Hey, you know what I realized about the, the fat, sexy guy over there? Stench? Yeah. Yeah. If he wore his pants appropriately, because he wears baggy pants, he would have that big poof in the middle of his belly. Look, pull him up like Urkel. He'd have a front butt. Look, you have to see this. It's so funny. No, all the way. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If he wore high pants. (laughs) Don't do it, man. You have a front butt. You have a front butt. Do you know that? And a camel toe. Oh. Oh. You always have to take it too you far. You have to go it. too far. And it totally pisses what? me off. Stench too far today. Yeah, all the way too far, oh, and not yeah. funny at all. Oh, I can't pull it out. Ah, my he can't underwear. stop himself. I know. What's wrong with him? I don't know. I mean, why don't you just take a whole wrecking ball to the show? Yeah, because you keep ruining it. Yeah, you're doing it slowly. Why don't I just kill us and yeah, be done? Yeah, you totally suck as a it's human being. It's just part of my plan to hate the Dan. Yeah, but you're bringing me down too. Yeah, and and Jack. Hey, collateral damage. <laughs> I'll take you with me, you ass. Oh, are you kidding? He's going first. In his effort to hate the Dan, he puts his job at risk every day. I'm going to dunk you and hold your head under the water. That's a torture. Iraqi prisoner torture. <laughs> I'm putting girls' underpants on your head. By the way, I have a question. Yeah. Do you think that we were that bad to these people? Yes. Even though we know they did bad stuff? Yes. If they were innocent, then I don't think you should do bad stuff. But if you're not innocent... Listen, I want to shoot them all. Not innocent, shoot them all. Fine. But the second they're in American custody, we're the Americans. We're the good guys. Oh, but, shut up. D- don't you believe in, like, it's it's so they, they go spread the word to others that, look, this scary stuff happens, so don't, don't, like, blow up the Americans? No, because they won't. They all think they're going to heaven. What happens now is they won't sur- surrender because bad stuff happens. 
Plus, I got to stand by. I really don't want anybody to get confused about how badly I want to just nuke the whole place and win the war and be done with this crap. I know, but, they but once keep, we like, take a prisoner, we are the Americans. We're the guys in the I white know, but, hats. But it doesn't matter right now because they they keep they keep doing bad things. Yes, to us, they and do. They're blowing up our people, and it's really irritating. Then blow them up back. But I don't mind a pair of underwear on your head. I do. I I mind mistreatment of prisoners. I don't mind. I mean, so just so the others can hear about it, and and it's like a rumor mill. It's like, dude, you don't well, know. They do really bad things in there. You don't want to blow up the Americans because it's hell in there. When they hacked that guy's head off, they said directly, "We heard about the bad stuff in that prison." So I'm sure you could a, understand their language. Yeah, they translated. They said this is in retaliation. <laughs> well, I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to get onto it because no, I, I say you know what? All I care about if, is the Lakers. If I'm at war with your. I'm, I'm very upset and hurt. Why? What are but you I'm, I'm not hurt because I'm the bad guy. Well, tell them everything. All right. Like. Remember this morning with the I Hate Danny show? Yes. And you told me about you had friends that hated me and you told me why that I had said something they told me not to say on the air. Right. And Stent was saying, I heard him tell you not to say it. And I said, I swear to God, I, I didn't hear it. I don't think that happened. So I called the woman, your friend, to invite her husband to the, to the fight. So she called me back and left a very long... I started with, I'm sorry you hate me. I didn't mean to do anything. Even though I thought I was kidding because I didn't think I did anything. So she leaves this very cool, long message making I thought you the ass. Because this poor, nice woman is leaving me a five-minute message about, of course I don't hate you. Don't ever think I hate you. But in the five-minute message is this sentence. Of course I don't hate you. Don't ever think that. It was just... One of those things. Oh. So that means it actually happened. I did. <laughs> it did happen. Yeah. So I did what Stench said I did, even though I didn't mean to. Okay, listen. And I apologize wholeheartedly. I Wait, I'm not done being hated by this I family. I don't lie to you. Oh, yeah, you do. No, I don't lie to you. They hate you. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, they, but but you do lie to me. But in this case, you're right. I, they so, don't hate him. They were disappointed in him. So then oh, I called worse, worse. the husband of Jamie's friend. Is this the best way to say this? Yeah. She said he's in a meeting, but here's a cell phone. So I called him right now. And I said, hey, it's Danny Bonaduce. He goes, I'm in a meeting. Can I call you back? And I said, sure, here's my cell phone number. I hate you. And before I hung <laughs> up, I said, I just wanted to ask you if you want to go to the Roy Jones Jr. fight this weekend. And he said, I'm in a meeting. And that was that conversation. Well, because he, he's a big time. And he hates you. He's playing the stock market right now. Call me later today. And I'll say, I'm in a meeting. <laughs> no, really, Dan, I'm in a meeting. He hates you. He doesn't want to talk to you. No, he's in a meeting and he hates no, you. No, he hates you. How about that little you. Santa win? Yeah, I know who likes Danny. <laughs> right on. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Would we like to play a little Santa win? Hi, Christina. Christina? Christina? Yes. Hi. Well, good morning. Good morning. Do you hate me? I'm so. Oh, of course I don't hate you. Thank oh, you. Oh, that's great. It's just one of those things. No, of course. <laughs> Did you follow that whole long story? I, you know, I got some of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are, are you just really right now just trying to practice uh, star ninety eight point seven seven eight point seven seven point seven? Exactly. I'm just trying to, you know, relax my nerves and take right. deep breaths and get ready for this. Right. And, and have you um, practiced it? And oh my God, every day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you What do you think that you're gonna get up to? I don't know. I, you know, I can't talk myself because you want to you know you can't count and say it at the same time right right i know what you mean okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put what jack how many seconds ten. jack's gonna give you 10 seconds okay? okay and then you know what you're what are you supposed to say starting eight point seven. right you want to wow. practice like real quick or something like ten? no i just need to do it okay, okay. all right all right, angry. All right. <laughs> and when i say go you go okay, okay all right all right on your mark get set Go. To Christina. How cool is that? That is more cool than you could ever know. Oh, my gosh. $1,500. 10 seconds of your time. It doesn't get better than that, my oh, friend. Right. You're not kidding. Yay. What are you going to do with the money? Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, you know, I just quit my job, so I'm going to not worry about it. Wow. Thanks That's so nice. Much. That's a beautiful thing, That's my friend. That's a beautiful friend. thing. Yes. It is a good thing. What a good day. It's Friday. You have $1,500. Oh, and it's only 8.30. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, Christina. Thanks, you guys. And uh, by the way, what's your favorite radio station? Starting 8.7. Good answer. Nice. Christina, <laughs> congratulations. Right. Although she was off 10 minutes with the time.
Yeah, she was. I thought I completely thought about Miss Wendy right then. <laughs> it's actually eight forty, but you know what? In your world, it could be eight thirty. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, with your kind of money, you can <laughs> bend time. Call Jamie. Hi, George. It's Jamie. I know you're on your phone and you saw it was us calling. I can't believe you didn't pick it up. And that's the third time you've done this to me, so I'm never calling you again. Goodbye. What about me in the fight? Oh, That's why sorry. you're calling. Yeah, and there's Danny. I'm coming to town. I don't even need a room or anything because a room came with the tickets. But uh, I'm coming to Vegas to see the Roy Jones Jr. fight and would love to hang out with you and see you and go to a ghost bar and rain and all the groovy things that happen at the Palms Resort and Casino and Hotel. And I don't want to talk to you anymore because I think it's rude that you don't pick up the phone. But talk. I love you. My love is lost for you. And I know your sister, uh, Adrian's dog trainer. <laughs> oh, nice. That should win his love. I'm just trying to have something in common. Way to throw out the name, Can't Dan. Can we focus on one obsession today? Is it going to be dogs, <laughs> motorcycles, or fights? Well, actually, if you remember, together. at the commercial break, I said, now, is this too much? Can I ask for a bilingual guitar teacher with a motorcycle? <laughs> and that's who I'd go with. And but, yesterday, George, I told the lady from Star Magazine I was pregnant with your child. Oops. I think yesterday I told the lady from Star Magazine I was pregnant with your child. But just so you know, I just had an abortion. <laughs> oh. Hey, I have no more love for the George. He never picks up the phone. He never calls or anything. Is that true? He never calls? Nothing. Nothing Zipperuski. Goodbye, George, forever. He calls me. Well, that's great. I'm lying. He never calls me. Here's another person that hates my guts. We'll call him as well. Who's this? Jason. Oh, maybe Jason will go with me. He hates me. He doesn't hate me. So there's some hate for you. Oh, yeah. Well, well, that's cool. It's boys. I I get along with girls. Boys hate me. I thought I got along with everyone. Girls like me. Boys hate me. The tuna loves me. Jack, you hate me? No. Thank you. You hate me? No. Yes. All right. No. She said no. That's no. We'll make people hate me. Hi, Jason. Hi, you don't have Jason. You have Dick Pengilly. Why do we have Dick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what number you dialed. I told you it was the wrong number. Wait a minute. Hey, hey you're on the radio, Dick Vendelli. Oh. oh. Not no more. I told you it was the wrong number. All right, this is what I, I know, but that's the wrong number. I told you, I go, that you got the three wrong. The three is wrong. Didn't I tell him you got the three wrong? Which is? Jason <laughs> hates him and gave him the wrong phone number. Oh, that's funny. It shouldn't because it, sh- it should be in there automatically from when he called me. No, the Jason gave you the wrong number. I don't think so. He gave you Dick's number. <laughs> Wait, we got- I didn't want Dick. I wanted Jason. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jason gave him the wrong number because he hates you. <laughs> he hates you too. I know, but I didn't. Uh, so Jason, sorry. Oh, oh. call. I'm in oh. Alabama till Monday. My phone is not working right now. Should have it working He's tomorrow after some time. So please leave a detailed message with your name and phone number. He's Thank in Bama. You. Race it. When you have finished recording, Racist. you may hang up or press pound for more options. Hey, Jason, it's Danny. <laughs> and uh, I've got these uh, ringside seats for uh, the Roy Jones Jr. fight in Vegas. And I just want to know if you wanted to ride up there on our bikes and see the fight, buddy. Hi. Hi, Jason. Hey, don't talk to my friend. You're mean to him. He's in Alabama, stupid. (laughs) Right, I know, but I just wanted to know why I called him, that I love him and was thinking of him. I still love you, Jason. I hope you don't hate my guts too much. I love you, and I have a motorcycle and fight tickets. I didn't mean all those bad things I said to you. She loves you, and she only has girl parts to give. (laughs) Sorry, I had those. (laughs) It was like five years ago. I don't give them out for nothing. (laughs) So, Jason, sorry about the bad things I said. I think you're a nice guy. Me too. Thanks for giving me the wrong phone number, so I saw, called some guy <laughs> named Dick. And I don't think you're ugly. I don't think you're ugly. I think you're cute. I called him ugly. We have to share our room, too, and I just <laughs> wanted to know how cute I think he is, because that should make him comfortable. Okay, but so I'm really sorry. I hope you forgive me. See, I gave you my friend Dan. Wear your leathers. Hey, Jack, what kind <laughs> of show are we doing today? Bad one. <laughs> <laughs> But I think everyone who can fire us is out of town. <laughs> hey, Stench, what's the show about today? I don't know, but we got UFO talk coming up next <laughs> to make it even better. I did bunny talk already. Bunny talk was cool. Thank you. Bunny talk was interesting. You know what it is? If everyone didn't hate the Dan, we could move on and it would be better, but it just keeps coming back. Right. I know. It always comes back to the hating of the Dan. I know. Yeah, I wish. You know what? I need the tuna as my new partner. Yeah. Everybody likes the tuna. We could talk about Everybody other stuff. Everybody loves the tuna. We yep. could talk tuna talk and everything, but no, we have, have to hate the Dan. I <laughs> talked about the war. Yeah, that was great. You'd rather kill women and children than put underwear on some Iraqi's head, whatever. Yep, right. Betty, hi. Hi, Jamie and Danny. How are you guys? Hi. We're doing the stupidest show ever. Stupidest. <laughs> but you 
you know what? You guys are just awesome. And I just want to say thank you to Care Bear for actually introducing me to you guys. And I've just been listening Care to Care Bear rocks. Oh, yeah, she does. Aww. Is that your lesbian lover? Yeah, right. <laughs> it, sounds like, it sounds like a lesbian lover type name. Not. Oh, what is it? What does it mean? Like, well, uh, she's just an awesome person. She's a nurse, oh. pediatric nurse. Oh, it's a sweet thing like that. Like stenches my yeah. hair bear. Yeah, yeah, like stenches your hair bear. That's sweet. Yeah, she's a care bear. So I'm sorry that I made it into a nasty, ugly, yucky yeah. lesbian thing. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> okay. I didn't know it was like a nice nurse pediatric thing. Yeah, it's just a sweet thing. Oh, oh no, it's a sweet thing. <laughs> yeah, because those lesbians, ugh. Yeah, I know. We don't want to deal with that. No, they're yucky. <laughs> uh, yuck. Oh, oh tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Betty, you have a great day. You too. All right, bye. bye. My mind was just a whirling with what kind of bear Jack could be to me, and I just couldn't come up really? with one. Really? I had Beck Neck was the best I could get. I have the rainbow bear. So I had to rhyme. He went the hair bear. Oh. Yeah, there's just not a good one. There's stare bear, but that doesn't, you know, Jack doesn't stare. Air That's... bear when he's stupid. Air, I win. Frodo's the stare bear. Frodo's stupid. <laughs> so is the show. I know. Let's stop and go home. Nini, Nini. <laughs> Nina. Nina. Whatever. Hi. That's Bye. how you spell it? Hi. How are you? We're good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Oh, that's great. What can we do for you? Okay, so stench is belly in front or butt in front thing. Front yeah. butt, yeah. It's called booty do. A booty do? It hang over longer than his booty do? Okay, it's. Where your stomach sticks out more than your booty do. Well, you got a booty do. Didn't you just buy one of those at jamiewhite.com? No, <laughs> the CD store, the booty do. Oh, yeah. I have no booty. At Montclair Yamaha. Montclair Yamaha, a little shout out to them. There's no booty. You have a brown stain there. I know, it's a probably tomato sauce. Because I eat in my underwear sometimes in front of the TV when I play video games. So you're wearing the ones from last night? Oh, probably, or right. whatever smelled cleanest. Make it stop. Make it stop. He has a tomato just, stain so because he watches today. video games in his underwear. While I eat. While he eats, and then he wears the same underwear to work. Is that your friend? <laughs> you are nasty and have hygiene issues. I took a shower before. But you put on the old underwear? No, clean underwear. I, they were clean, and then I got a stain on them while I was eating dinner in front of the TV playing video games. Last night? Yeah, after I took a shower. But then you slept in them with food on them? They're still clean. I don't think everyone hates the den. I think everyone's repelled by the stench. Me too. And I'm going over to the hating of the stench. Really? I love the Thanks, Dan. So stealing pa- you Thank don't you. love the Dan. I love the Dan. You, you know, can't handle the Dan. Dude, I just saw t- I just saw the tape of where they edited me so I wouldn't be so hateable. And Jamie shows love for me in the tape. I have it on tape. Yeah. I love the Dan. I hate you. You're a sellout. You have spaghetti sauce on your panties. Spaghetti O's, technically. <laughs> With Not even the real sauce. <laughs> he has spaghetti O stains. <laughs> oh. he mi- did you just put the can on top of the stove, too, and just open it, or did you at least pour it in a pot? Pour it in a cup and nuked it for a minute 30. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> ah, it's Friday. I'm yes, excited. it is. Oh my god, that's awesome, Jack. Thank you for playing that. That was awesome. Um, by the way, Star Lounge, the last day of the premiere week is today at five o'clock with Jason and Lisa. Yes, Jason and Lisa. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, you scared me, man. <laughs> Jack, don't say it like that. I, 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 what happened? <laughs> okay. Jack just scared me. Um, the last day for the premiere week of, with Jason and Lisa. Right, with one of my favorite bands, Counting Crows. Yes, today. Um, five o'clock. Maroon 5, it was awesome. I, I have to hear uh, the, the Harder to Breathe one. I have to hear that one, Jack. Um can you give me a snippet? I got the. Uh, I, got the snippet. I like snippets. Snippets are good. Anyway, so I love the Star Lounge. I love Maroon Five. The Counting Crows coming up today. That'll be awesome. Put that over here. Did you find the snippet? All right, let me let me hear the snippet. Jack's gonna give me a snippet. Thank you. It was great. Do you see that my behavior is unacceptable? So condescending, unnecessarily critical. Wait, Chris I have it out. Oh! Oh! Why? Oh, why? What happened? There, there's an F-bomb in that. 
Oh. oh. Nice. Whoa. Pat and Co- Padlock saves the day. Because that's my favorite Maroon 5 song. And there's an F-bomb in it? Yep. Wow. Wow. What what part? Because I know every word. The part where they say the F word would it's be my like guess. Punk? Wow. Are you sure? Because I know every word. I can't think of it where they say it. Mm. Listen at home and enjoy. <laughs> oh, well, I've even read. The, I've even read the back. The the words to every word song. Have you? Yeah. If you look in the, if you pull the sleeve. I'm gonna go to the internet. Pull the they sleeve. Know okay. The well, I say oh. just play it now and hit the dump button no, if no. he's right. No, I'm gonna tell you something. If you pull the sleeve of the Maroon Five, the red one, the red right. sleeve, it doesn't say the F word because I, I I memorized all the words. Uh, all right. If you I'll, pull Stench's sleeve, he does something nasty. He does. If you pull my finger, nothing happens. You want to pull my finger? No. Okay. Let's go back to we, where we love each other and hate stench. <laughs> That's the fun part for me. Okay, because here's one. Hi, Scott. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Hi. Scott. What's up, buddy? Danny, Danny, you guys rule. We rule. We rule. I just wanted to let you know that we all love the Dan, and we do think Stench is a homo. Stench is a homo. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I watched yeah. The Bachelor yeah. on that yeah. day. thing is a front. We know he's a homo. You're a homo. Just, just quit pretending. <laughs> Can yeah. I just clear something up really what? quick? This isn't the Scott that actually hates the Dan like everybody else. Yeah. Oh, Jack. You're... Just because I boned you, Scott, doesn't make me a homo. What is wrong with you, angry Santa? Oh, I think my friend George is on my cell phone. George who? A friend of mine. Oh, that George or my George? Your or George, both but Georges. I didn't know we could say his name because I don't know what I can say to not make them hate George me. Maloof. Okay, that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared. I bet he can't go. I know he can't go. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. <laughs>